Hello there, this is Mr. Fingles and Dog Hench from Buy English Rex. First, I have to say that this video that you're watching it isn't for making fun, fan of fun, fan, fun at anyone. This is just to show that we pronounce things differently on different side of word and dif in different culture and different languages even in same country you can there are many ways to pronounce things like for you if you're from states it might be hard to pronounce band name like Lauri Tähkä ja Elonkirju or for me Metallica I don't know do I pronounce it right or just Justin Bieber. I know it's Justin Bieber, but hey, Bieber, Bieber, and yeah. But let's go. I have to say that for these videos that I got from Steve Carson, vinyl community, Steve Carson, man with records and man with knowledge, knowledge. That when he talked about these records that he didn't know anything. It was so convincing. <sighs> Even though I I knew that he what he was talking about, I was like, oh, that's how it have to go. But let's start. Steve, it's your turn. The first group, Rock Udesta. Rock Udesta and it's pump pump. And this is a song, it's actually an album done by Clowns. It's from the Finnish Clown Choral Group. Uh, they travel like one or two different countries. Really, really popular, especially in places that have nothing else to listen to. So, Clown Dunen Scott, boom. PMMP Rakkaudesta. Yes, they're totally not clown. Power, energy, pop duo rock and some lyrics for uh, around really hard rap issues even though there's song called cardboard mask it's not fun fun i like this band that they not making anymore but i'm happy that i was at their second last so show almost on last show here I would recommend Forever Young. Great song. Forever Young. Sona Artica. Sona Artica. Uh, name of the album is Days of Grey. And this deals with, it's a concept album about some elves that are really, really cold because they live up in northern Finland and they're just kind of fed up and sick and tired of the whole damn thing. And it's about their quest as they go to Africa because they want to see giraffes and run around naked in the sand. So um, that's what the days of greys are because they don't want the days to be grey anymore. Really fun stuff. Sonatartika. Days of Grace, or just friendly sonata. Did you say any run naked in sand? Hmm. No, we don't do that, but at winter in snow and rolling in the snow while having sound, and it is fun. But this music isn't humorous. Uh, well, while live they do some fun stuff also, but. It's a totally different thing, and if you have seen them uh, many times, it's not any more fun. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, originally power metal band, but also went to this AOR or and symphonic style. And on here, I would recommend listen song. Also, if you're not into metal music, even Steve Carson might like this song because. The last amazing grace orchestral version. No metal instruments. That's great song. Postilana, Postilana Yastavat. Postilana Yastavat. And it's called Irti. Irti. Uh, very pastoral type music. It's the type of music really that a lot of the farmers use out there to bring their cows in. 
cows are attracted to that. So there are certain types of music that really cows dig, you know, and, and Finnish cows really, really like Irti, uh, Postliana, Yastelat. I mean, they come running. And it's the craziest damn thing you've ever seen. So if you got Finnish cows, play this. Boom, they're there. Posteljona ja ystävät, Irti. I wouldn't actually surprise if music would gather cows if there was always playing the same music when they get food. I have heard claims that cows would give mil more milk if they hear classical music. Classical! And this is reggae or reggae bop or something like that. And this is Joona and his band is Postel Joona. And Ystävät. Ystävät means friends. And here I would recommend a song called Ruma because it's it's really fun song and it has really good message also. On chorus they are singing if you're hearing this probably and you are actually. Think about this a little bit. It might be that you're not hot. It and only comfort for you is that there is also six milliard other as ugly. <laughs> Abba, voulez-vous? It's a classic. And if you don't have it, damn your hide. Because it's the best Abba disco there is on the market. <laughs> Abba, voulez-vous? With Abba, I agree with you. Great. Album, great band. Agnestica. Nope, Agnestic. Agnestic, and it's called Venda Palisumus. Venda Palisumus. Uh, this is a Swedish new wave group. It's a female new wave group, really popular. A bunch of uh, blonde gals in dresses and go go boots running around playing like uh, happy new wave type music. So, uh, Agnestic uh, Venda Paisumus. Really fun stuff. Agnestic Veden Paisumus was Finnish guitar pop band from Hauki Budas. There was five guys in band. Singer of band started to organize also Air Guitar World Championship. And about that subject there is also one movie made. Air Guitar Nation, and if I remember right, this was quite funny. It's a documentary movie. Some guys who wants to from United States to come to Finland Oulu for Air Guitar World Championship. Great stuff. I have seen it once, even though I have it by myself. From here, I would recommend Jossain Pohjanmaalla. Marcus Krunigard. Marcus Krunigard, and it's called Lead Sum und Glis Do Sum in Hun. Uh oh, it says G R I S. That's, uh, yeah, that's Gree. Lead Sum Glee Do Sum in Hun. And it's more techno. So it's um, Scandinavian techno music. It uh, has kind of icy sounding, shall we say, but still has a great drum beat and it's very easy to dance to. Markus Kruunegord. Lev som en kris, de som en hund. Markus was singer of Swedish, yes, Swedish, indie pop band Laakso. And, yes, Swedish from Sweden, just like Roots of Steve Carson. It was good, great band, Laakso. I liked especially their Mammilla Rock album, which was like they're having fun because they sang in Finnish. Because Markus, I guess mother is from Finland, but he hasn't been living in Finland except maybe some, some summers. So to me, he's Finnish quite fun to listen but it was fun record also otherwise and I've been liking also these soul records I guess they are still some kind of indie music but not 
the same way because he isn't doing it with band and maybe it's more also like singer-songwriter style even later solo albums have gone for that I don't know because I don't haven't listened his latest album I huvet po en idiot i en bar po en ö i et ha po en ö i en bar i huvet po en idiot and that's album name I can say it a little bit quicker also I try I huvet po en idiot i en bar po en ö i et ha po en ö i en bar i huvet po en idiot I don't know something head and idiot I, I, I'm not so good at Swedish from here I would recommend Livet e menskans besta deed that's life is man's best time I don't know maybe it's from Matti Nykänen who just died lately Indica Velo Isia Velo Issa. That's it. Velo Issa. So Indica is, it, it's chamber music. It's uh, for women that have like red, black, blonde, brown hair. So it's, they all have different colors here. It gives them kind of a little edged. And it deals with uh, chamber music. Very, very beautiful stuff. And uh, they, have, they look like they must be from Sweden. So Indica. Valoissa. Indica was original pop rock band and later even uh, more symphonic metal style a little bit so soft symphonic metal way from here I would recommend Pahinta Tänään or Valoissa Pahinta Tänään no more no 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 Valoissa Teresa Blintat Teresa Teresa Blintat yeah, that's it. Taylor Sablintat Metalantius. And it translates into men's testicles. It's a really a heavy rock band where um, you like to put on some metal armor, but nothing on the chest because that's where the heart's at, where you would shoot an arrow. So why put a chest plate on when you can go bare and show your hairless chest? Uh, but it, it really is have heavy metal and uh, testa which translates to um, male testicles. Teras betoni. Metallitotuus. I see this was quite hard to pronounce you. I understand. Teraspetoni and male testicles. I see that you found it from here. But metallitotuus means actually metal truth. And this is quite a lot like manoir band their style but I have to say that I haven't listened so much Manowar but they I liked I remember when I heard this first time and I was like how someone cool can do something like that because they are seeing like don't come to tell us how to play don't come to tell us how to have war don't uh, come to tell us how to win and orjatar <sighs> like slave woman hear my command you have to know your place S slave yeah well yeah well this still I like this band and when they played live kicks they were usually without shirts that wasn't the reason that I liked it, band. <laughs> fin, fin, tolo, fin, tolo, fin, tolos, fin, tolos, and it's in, and it's it is a uh, fin, fin, tolot, fin, tolot, visser unstuntend. Visa Unstunden. It, it's uh, it's this is a group from northern Finland, and again, this is a concept album about an evil beast that lives up there that's going to eat your children and will probably eat you too. Really popular folk tale up there. It's kind of a happy thing, yes, you, you know, you you talk about when you're in a cabin. So, 
Fintrat Visser Unstatit, and uh, evil beasts in the woods that eats your children. Fintrol, Visor Omslutet. Fintrol I chose just because name is in Swedish, and they sing in Swedish, and that what you said could just be something that they could sing about. Visor om slutet means something like songs of the end. They are a folk metal band, but this album is acoustic EP. If you still like Korpeklani, I don't see any reason why wouldn't you like also this. This isn't happy as happy music as Korpeklani, so of course this is more sad, sad, sadder or that kind of thing going on there, but. On here sings Tapio Vilska, who has been also singing on some Night Vis songs. My recommend would be here. First Vin do some. You disappear like that. This is dance music for my taste. Ruta, Ruta Silu. Ruta Silu Pimeys. Uh, Root the Silu is more of a Game of Thrones kind of a thing, kind of classical, but with a middle edge to it. And it brings in um, a little bit of um, Irish music, which is where they come up with Pimeys. You know, Pimeys has this Irish sound. So it's Finnish. Um, kind of game, uh, Finnish kind of game, Game of Thrones metal with Irish. It, it's a really kind of a unique type sound that I think you can really truly only find in Finland. Routa sielu, pimeys. Tuomas Saukkonen, death metal musician from Before the Dawn and Wolf and many others, has made made also one album in Finnish, and it's this Routa sielu. And I don't know, maybe Pesapallo is good. It means something like baseball, but it's not the American baseball because Pesapallo in Finland is different kind of thing. I don't know about that so much because I'm not so into sports. <laughs> Unst, Unst of Chlamydia. Unst of Chlamydia by Latosia Lewinsky. Uh, this is a sex education music uh, dealing with the um, problem of chlamydia and what can be done about it. And their spokesperson is none other than Lotisa Lewinsky, which Lotisa, when translated, is Monica. I don't know why she did it and up in Scandinavia, but it was a big deal. It's played throughout all the schools up there and Uns of Chlamydia. Really important stuff by Lutisa Lewinsky. Chlamydia. Letoisa Levinsky. And... No, not sex education. And band name is just Chlamydia. And everyone remains, remembers Monica Levinsky and about Letoisa. Oh, if you Google that word, you find this song. And I, I don't know. I, uh, the thing is that this is quite off. I mean, the lyrics. Uh, not my favorite climate song at all. I don't start translating song. I guess this was really fun back then when this was on news. But at the same time I'm thinking like why we have to laugh from others sorrow and mistakes. I'm just asking. Uh, I'm not saying anything like I don't want to say anything political. Uh, I don't I don't have anything political political reason to say. Political re reason to say about what happened, I don't remember so well. But I remember it was on news a lot, even in Finland. And Klamydia wanted to make a song about it. I listened it and it stuck in my head. 
I bought this from Sweden, Stockholm's old city. Thanks Steve Carson, it was fun, you were fun, and let's keep on touch and let's start chat.